it's always fun to sit here and talk. Price, price, price. Charts, charts, charts. Where is price going to head? Let's all get excited. Hurrah, right? When we talk about SHIB price, obviously it's it's done well over the last few days. We're back above 5090. We know that BTC is sitting at that moment of truth where it needs to make a decision. You know, we're we're looking like we might start this again, flip around in our climb. And and I hope that happens. I hope that we just explode before the halving, get our retracement, and then we're off to the races. Now, there's something that came out actually a couple of days ago. We missed it. And I think some of the data in this supports what we've been talking about. And I want people to be aware of what, in fact, may be coming down the road, the effect that it may have on a much broader picture when it comes to crypto, when it comes to the economy. And, you know, I know some people get bored with this stuff, but but it's important that you know. OK, so what came out was our GDP report. Now, we had another increasing quarter of GDP, all right, up 3.3%. Uh, thir uh, third quarter was up 4.9%. So we obviously see what the adjusted rate ends up coming out as. Now, there are some great signs in this, okay? We've actually seen current dollar personal income increase. We actually increased $224.8 in the fourth quarter compared to an increase of 196.2 in the third quarter. We see, we've seen disposable personal income increase, which is great. Now, here's the thing, guys. And this is where we may see uh, an impact at some point down the line here. Personal savings was only $818.9 in the fourth quarter compared to $851.2 in the third quarter. So we've actually seen this begin to drop. All right. Now, the personal savings as a, as a percentage of disposable income was 4% in the fourth quarter compared to 4.2% in the third quarter. So basically... The, your money's not going quite as far, all right? The stores that households have are, in fact, dropping. And we've talked about this. It's been going down. Now, the question is, is when do we hit that inflection point where it becomes a serious problem? So we know that, obviously, the U.S. government is at a, an all-time high in terms of debt. We know that personal credit card debt is at an all-time high. We know interest rates are really high. All these things are are signifying a possible credit bubble, all right, a debt bubble. And at some point, it's likely that that bubble is going to pop. It's just a question of when it's going to be. When people can't pay for their shit, that's a big problem, all right? Now, we are seeing the cost of some goods and services drop, all right? As people are getting less money, they're buying less stuff, and then we're seeing some of this these costs come down. We've seen decreases in energy. We've seen decreases in vehicles. We've seen, you know, at least... Everything's getting at least flattening out. So that's a good sign. This isn't disinflation. Okay. We're not seeing, uh, we're not seeing overall inflation drop, but things are beginning to flatten. Now, what this may mean is at some point we'll see value pull out of stores of value. Okay. Right now it's flowing in. That's why we're seeing the, obviously some of the crypto market pump. That's why we're seeing some stocks pump, things like that. But at some point, value begins to get sucked out. Now, the question is, when is that going to happen? Well, if this lasts until 2025, like late 2025 or 2026, we're in pretty good shape. That's a bear market cycle. That's when we would see that anyways. 2027, even better. That's when we could hit the depths, amazing opportunities. And this is just something that we're going to have to keep an eye on moving forward. All right. Now, this isn't the end all be all. It may be nothing. Right. Maybe maybe something happens that corrects all this. I'm not a fortune teller. I don't have a crystal ball, but just know that this is this is looming back here. All right. It's something that we need to be aware of and pay attention to. I still think this market provides a lot of opportunities. I still think we get our big runs. I still think 2025 is a massive explosive year for crypto. I think a lot of people are going to be getting into crypto because of crap like this. They want to escape debt. They want to escape being under the pressure of the government, right? All these things are going to impact the crypto market in a big way. And it, it may actually be for the positive. This is, again, may this may be how we see that early big first step of mass adoption. People want financial freedom. So that's my long-winded description about what's going on there. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. So we'll obviously watch and see what happens. This is where, again, SHIB has a big opportunity too. We talk about you know, an easily adoptable coin, a cheap coin, right? Five zeros, nine guys. This is what people may 
just naturally gravitate towards and move into. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. Have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.